All right, so boom, my name is Kip, and we back with more Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero. And this is probably the last episode of Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero. So as you see, uh, we uh, are about to wrap up the Wanderers. We only got about five or six left, and we'll have defeated all the rivals in the game so without further ado let's get into it man let's see who we got left now this is steam storm i know for that one you need like several days i'm gonna go ahead and look them up real quick Yeah, you need 180 days for Steam Storm, so I ain't gonna go at him just yet. Glamour Girl own at least 25 cars. Zero. 365 days. Start dash, 180 days. Last flight day must be a multiple of 10. So I think for the first one, I'll go after uh, last flight, Yokohane northbound. I just need to fast forward it to 140 days. So that's what we're going to do. All right. We had 140 days. I just need to remember where he's at. Okay. Yokohane northbound. Let's go. There he is. Oh, he challenged me. Nice. Respect, respect. God, that was so close. <laughs> wow. The stick drift almost betrayed me, but by the grace of the pseudo gods, I was spared. Thank you. Well, all right. That's one down. Sir, that's a nice uh, looking Porsche right there. So we got left. We got four left. So the next one I'd go after is Glamour Girl. And for Glamour Girl, I need 25 cars. I currently own 11. So hold on while I buy 14 more cars. All right, that's 25 cars bought. And now I should be able to challenge rival Glamour Girl on Shinkanjo clockwise. So let's go and see about her. Should be quick work. Yeah, 
she is. Glamour girl. That sticker is crazy. So far ahead, it don't even matter. <laughs> All right, back to the garage. All right, so who's left? That's three. <laughs> All right, so. Steam Storm, Start Dash, Zero. Steam storm, I need 180 days and I need to drive a foreign car for start dash. I just need 180 days. Okay, so we're going to fast forward a little bit to 180 days. I'll be right back. All right, we are at 180 days, so we can now take on both Steam Storm and Start Dash. And to do it, I will change into a non-Japanese car because I need a non-Japanese car to challenge a steam storm. Do I want the Viper? Ah. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. Fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> And just to make sure I can plant, I might be able to take them both out. So Yokohane southbound and Kanjo inner. I'll definitely be able to take them both out because Yokohane southbound is right here. This should be fun. Yep, there he is. Oh god. I don't know how long I can suffer through this car though. Because this is... <laughs> I did not tune this car at all. Oh, he challenged me. Great. I love having the advantage. I gotta wait till the fifth gear to get some traction. Okay, there we go. All right, one down, one to go. Let's see if I can actually find him. Take out two in one night, that's great for me. And then 
we will be taking the Haneda route, which will put us on Yokohane South. Yeah, the Viper is nice when going in a straight line. Not so much when you got to turn. But I guess that's also applicable to the real life one too. Oh my god. I got clipped by a pixel. Single pixel. But yeah, I see him. He is accessible. there. I am zooming. Let's go. Okay, I think I got me. I think I got a little handle on the Viper now. I think I've gotten used to it. Damn. It spoke too soon. Of course, that was just a bad line. There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Alright, come on, baby. Come to daddy. Don't forget to pay the toll. Cha-ching! All right. Oh, you got a little bit of speed. It's a little bit though. Oh, he one of these too. dirty the whole time. Oh god, I can't do this. Oh man, he did me dirty. You get behind me this time. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. Jesus Christ. He still... Still is wilding.
He was brake checking me the whole time. Now he want to act like he fast. Hope he crash. Yeah. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> Not this time. Easy money. That's it, baby. We did that. All right. Get me out of this. <laughs> Get me out. Please. Thank you. All right. Well, two rivals left, man. Two rivals left and we got zero here and to unlock zero you have to be on day 365 or later so uh, yeah I will see you in about a hundred and eighty four days All right, finally, we are on day 365. And now we are able to challenge Wander Zero. We'll see him on the Wangan southbound. There he is. There he is. Wander Zero. And for those who are unfamiliar with Zero, he drives the infamous Blackbird from the famous racing manga series Wangan Midnight. It's the RUF CTR. The rough roof. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> He's about to get smoked by the 2-2-B. Easy money. Go back and be a doctor, cause racing ain't for you. <laughs> All right. Well, there's one more rival left. It's the last one. And there he is. Also, 
from Wong and Midnight is the final boss, Devil Z. And his car is so damn fast. that he dies on any turn. <laughs> Kinda like the original Devil Z. <laughs> and that's it, man. I beat the game. That's it. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> That was the final boss. What was that thing you saw? A ghost? An illusion? Or maybe it was your own shadow. Unbelievable speed, technique, power, and overwhelming pressure. But you defeated them all. That moment, everything you saw in front of you looked different. Tomorrow, however, is another day. The labyrinth in Tokyo has no goal, no limit, no end. That's it, man. That's the final ending to the quest. It was a long journey. We had some ups, some downs, some highs, some lows, some funny moments, some depressing moments, but we got through it, man, and we, we beat it. That's the end of quest mode. I just want to take some time out to say I really appreciate everybody who've been rocking with me since I started this channel a year ago. It's kind of ironic that my quest ends on day 365 and a year in and I'm finishing Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero when a year ago I started Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. That's how I started this channel. And, you know, I've, I've built it to what it is right now at this point. Over 100 subscribers, thousands of views on multiple platforms, and it ain't gonna stop, man. But I just wanted to take this moment to say I really, really, really appreciate everybody who left a like, a comment, a view, who shared, who subscribed. It means a lot you know? I don't really do this for money I kind of just fit it in where I can in my chaotic life and you know it, it's really just fun for me it's therapy for me it's a release for me and I'm grateful that I have an opportunity to share it with people who enjoy watching me do what I do man I always felt like if I had one person watching me do what I do then that was enough for me so the fact that it's over a hundred of y'all at this point I can't help but be grateful man. and if I don't gain another subscriber ever then I'll I am perfectly fine continuing doing what I do and entertaining the people who watch me to this point point. and that's it man that's all I really wanted to say Thank you. In so many words, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We got that thing. The S30 ZX. Fastest damn car in the game. I think it's even faster than Speed King. 
But you know what? They all fell to this bad boy right here. Built it from the ground up. Made it a machine of nightmares. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just want to do a do a celebratory lap. I've done all the racing I can do. Now nah, I, I just want to, you know, cruise at 200 miles per hour. just enjoy this game so much. I really love this game. It was a real staple in my childhood. I played the original one for Dreamcast at my cousin's house and that was kind of my introduction to the series. Eventually when I got my own PlayStation 2, this was one of the first games I bought. I played the hell out of this game. On my original playthrough, I didn't get to like 100% it because, you know, I'm a kid and I didn't really know how to. Well, I knew how to look up cheats and stuff, but, you know, I ain't really put in the time to uh, look up the, how to unlock all the opponents and beat them all and unlock the final boss and things like that. So. It was just me playing, really, and that was enough for me. You, know, you see, games like this ain't really around no more. Highway Racers, it's, it's like a real niche category of its own. You know, you got, you had this developed by Genki, then you got the Wong and Midnight series, which is strictly arcade. It would be nice if they developed a, a console port, but I mean, it is what it is. I guess if I want to play it, I got to hit the arcades. And besides that, it ain't really much. I mean, you know, a settled course, uh, they have the SRP project, which is based off of this and, you know, loyal fans who want to recreate the feeling, but you can't really recreate the feeling in a whole nother game. At the end of the day, it's the whole game that makes it what it is. It's the whole package. I'm sure, you could slap a skin on a different game, but it's not going to hit the same. Same goes for BMNG. They brought the SRP to BMNG. Which, I mean, for me personally, I say this. But I still intend on, you know, trying it out. Just see what it is. See what it's like. But at the end of the day, I would love a remaster of this game. Well, you know, Genki could come back and make a whole new sequel. A complete one. That'd be dope. Yeah, I'm just rambling. <laughs> Narrowly dodged him. I 
I am glad I was able to tune this car to get the handling that it does, cause boy, between this and the Viper, it's like night and day for real. <laughs> Zoom through traffic with minimal worries. Oh, see that? I couldn't have made that kind of maneuver in a Viper. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Not at all. Let me not say that because I was getting a little bit of use to it. It slides a lot, but you could get around them corners. Oh my god, that damn rotary, the RX3. Oh my god. I absolutely hated that car. And the fact that that's one of the cars you have to use in order to defeat a certain wander is golly that was the most frustrating thing but it had to be done and we got it done Keeping up with the plane. <laughs> Damn near. Feels nice to just cruise at 225 miles per hour. music the, the music also you know very 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 nostalgic for me the whole pack
go this way. go across the bridge. Many lives were claimed on this section here. I lost a couple of lives. Oh damn. Let me, let me <laughs> sacrifice one more. Yes, many lives were claimed on that section. Oh, in this section right here. This one. It was torture. Going left? Oh my god. They did not know how to handle that. It doesn't show it, but I definitely think tire wear is a real thing. Like I know overheating and whatnot. It's actually on display in the third one. But in this game, you know. There's no real indicator outside of the trip meter. And with that you can kinda gauge the degradation in performance. Concludes my journey, man. That's it. That's the end of Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero. That's the end of this video. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank y'all for riding with me. And I hope y'all continue to ride with me for the next year and many more years to come. I ain't stopping. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, turn on the notifications so you know every time I pop up. My name is Kip, aka Legend of Dancer, it's a wild name.
But hey, signing off. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.